Ladies and gentlemen, the cast of Game of Thrones. It's an honor for us all to be here tonight. I think all of us agree how amazing the entire last season was for us. We had no idea how it would end, who would betray whom, and who would end up with the prize. As much as we wish the show would, could have gone on forever, our time had come. And tonight is a chance to once again thank all of those who watched. And now, limited series and movies. The very best of these arrive and become an important part of our lives. Their stories show us love, tolerance, and empathy, alongside war, greed, and despair. They don't just entertain, but also educate and empower us. Their characters become part of our lives. And their, jo <laughs> and their journeys stay with us long after they're gone. It's our honor to present the award for supporting actress in a limited series or a movie. And the nominees are... Patricia Clarkson, Sharp Objects. I just want things to be nice with us. But maybe I don't know how. Marsha Stephanie Blake, When They See Us. Oh, do oh, stay. <laughs> Emily Watson, Chernobyl. To hell with our lives. Someone has to start telling the truth. Vera Farmiga, when they see us. If they were present, if they did nothing to stop her agony, then they are guilty. Margaret Qualley, Bossy Burden. I have no more small talk left in me. I don't want to fool around. I don't want to play games. I just want to love you. Patricia Arquette, The Act. I never once disrespected my mama the way you do nearly every day. And the winner is... Patricia Arquette. With this win, it is official. Patricia Arquette goes to the Emmy stage more than she goes to Trader Joe's. Okay, this is all weird, okay? I'm up here with the Game of Thrones cast. I mean, my Joey's there, my beauty, my Joey King. I mean, I can't believe this is happening to be honored with these fellow nominees who are so talented and gave an, a master's class in acting, each and every one of you. So I'm just terribly grateful for this. Thank you, Hulu. Thank you to my family, my love of my life, Eric White, my kids. Um, and I just have to say, I'm grateful to be working. I'm grateful at 50 to be getting the best parts of my life. Um, yeah. And, and that's great. But in my heart, I'm so sad. I lost my sister Alexis. And that trans people are still being persecuted. And. I'm in mourning every day of my life, Alexis, and I will be the rest of my life for you until we change the world so that trans people are not persecuted and give them jobs. They're human beings. Let's give them jobs. Let's get rid of this bias that we have everywhere. Thank you.